Welcome back to the Soccer Betting News Fantasy Premier League show. And what a weekend it was yet again. Uh, we saw Manchester City fumble the ball. Arsenal finally, they've extended that lead even further. Um, and some are saying that Manchester United might be in the title race, but we will see this weekend when they travel to the Emirates Stadium. Um, at the time of recording, Crystal Palace and Manchester United have yet to play, as well as Tottenham versus Manchester City. Uh, so we will have the top 10 leader brought out, out on our social media, so look out for that. Uh, the current leader for the 500 Rand betting voucher, courtesy of Hollywood Bets, is David. David is leading by 161 points for January, and there is a couple more fixtures to go, so um, it might be a tight race down to the wire. This week, there are a couple of suspensions and injuries, uh, the, but the, the two that I want to focus on, or the one that I want to focus on rather, is Bruno Gemerich going off for Newcastle. He is the instrumental player there, and I know that some players or FPL managers do have him in their squad. Um, but you can look to possibly swap him out uh, for another Newcastle player if you are looking to keep that. Uh, it will take you two transfers, but Alexander Isak is back. Um, be wary though, he did get a couple of minutes. He hasn't, got a, uh, he hasn't gotten up to full match fitness just as yet. Um, three players that I'd like to look at. Uh, the banker of the weekend uh, has to be Harry Kane. Uh, he doesn't go long without scoring goals and he's missed uh, two games, I believe. Uh, we'll see in the Tottenham fixture uh, versus Manchester City if he does find the back of the net. But against Fulham, he's likely to find it. Uh, in so looking at someone that I would like to punt on rather, uh, most people are looking at Brighton. Brighton are playing excellently, but there are two players or two midfielders, midfielders rather, that are fairly cheap and that are likely to yield returns. We saw Solly March do a number on Liverpool, but for me, I'd like to go for the uh, wider player, Mitoma. He has been phenomenal. I think he's got a PhD in dribbling. Have a look at him. He will take the shots. He will get down to the byline. Um, and then finally, the last player that I'd like, I'd like to look at is someone who will likely get some points again. I know it's a tough fixture, uh, but Martin Odegaard, he has the most points of any midfielder currently. Um, and I think that looking at him to be your number one, maybe even captain in a big fixture, if he can get over Casemiro or across the line of across Casemiro, he can get the points. Transfers in versus transfers out. There's players like Luke Shaw, Marcus Rashford, Martin Odegaard. Um, but a big one, Ivan Tony, highest up on the list currently. Um, I think that many managers or FPL managers thought that he would uh, likely be suspended, but it's gone January, January 4th. That was the date that he had to respond to the allegations, and he seems to be playing uh, scoring goals as well. Um, so, if you're not going for Martin Odegaard, I think Ivan Tony is a good bet as well. Uh, the players that are leaving on the transfers outside, Martinelli, I think many people are swapping from him to Martin Odegaard. Um, your Salah is also leaving Liverpool, isn't in a, a greater space. So if you do have him, I'd also suggest letting him go as they face Chelsea this weekend. So it might be a bit of a tougher fixture for them. Uh, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe and until next time.